Ever contemplated how pivotal engines are to our daily lives? They're at the heart of our everyday routines, yet their influence often goes unnoticed. Picture this, from the moment our alarms blare in the morning to the gentle hum of air conditioning as we drift off to sleep, engines constantly perform. They power the vehicles taking us to our destinations, provide electricity for our abodes, and support the machinery that churns out our daily necessities. The diversity of engines is truly admirable, ranging from the well-known internal combustion engines to the lesser-known electric motors and more. Each type, with its unique mechanism, serves a crucial role in our lives, making them more comfortable, efficient and interconnected. Despite this, not all engines receive the recognition they deserve. Amongst them, the internal combustion engine stands out, while others, despite their contributions, remain relatively unknown. Among these unsung heroes, one engine stands out. It's not as mainstream, but its influence is undeniable. A sterling example of engineering brilliance, it is the Stirling engine. An invention that may not be familiar to many, but its impact has been monumental, changing the landscape of numerous industries. One such engine, you might not be familiar with, is the Stirling engine, a marvel of engineering that has revolutionized various industries. The Stirling engine, unlike its counterparts, has a rich history dating back to the 19th century. This unique piece of machinery was the brainchild of Robert Stirling, a Scottish clergyman with a mind for invention. In the year 1816, Stirling patented his economizer, which later evolved into what we now know as the Stirling engine. At the time, the world was in the throes of the Industrial Revolution. Factories were springing up like mushrooms after a rainstorm and steam was king. Steam engines powered everything from locomotives to manufacturing equipment. But steam, as powerful as it was, had a dark side. Boiler explosions were a common and deadly occurrence, causing countless injuries and deaths. Robert Stirling, seeing the potential for disaster, sought to create a safer alternative. He envisioned an engine that could operate at lower pressures and thus pose less risk of explosion. His solution was ingenious. Rather than rely on high-pressure steam, Stirling's engine used heat to expand and cool gas, driving a piston and creating motion. The Stirling engine was a game-changer. It offered a safer and more efficient means of converting heat into mechanical work. While it didn't entirely replace the steam engine, it provided a viable and often preferable alternative. The Stirling engine was particularly attractive in settings where safety was paramount, such as in mines or onboard ships. However, it's important to note that Stirling's engine wasn't just about safety, it was also about efficiency. At a time when fuel resources were becoming increasingly vital, the Stirling engine's ability to make the most of available heat was a significant advantage. It was an engine designed not just for the needs of the present, but with an eye towards the future. Thus, the birth of the Stirling engine, a safer and more efficient machine, the Stirling engine has undergone significant development since its inception. The journey from its birth in the early 19th century to the present day is a tale of relentless perseverance and constant evolution. The Stirling engine, named after the Scottish clergyman Robert Stirling, who invented it, was originally designed to compete with the steam engine. But with the advent of electricity and internal combustion engines, it found itself being pushed to the sidelines. Yet, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the Stirling engine has reinvented itself time and again. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, engineers began to see the potential of the Stirling engine in a new light. They recognized its almost silent operation, its ability to use any heat source and its exceptional efficiency. These qualities led to a resurgence of interest and the Stirling engine found its way into submarines, where its quiet operation was a significant advantage. The mid-20th century brought another wave of innovation. Engineers introduced regenerators into the design, increasing the engine's efficiency even further. The Stirling engine also found a home in the burgeoning space industry. NASA, for example, used Stirling engines in some of its spacecraft for their reliability and efficiency. The dawn of the 21st century saw further evolution. Advances in material science allowed for lighter, stronger engines. Computer modeling enabled more precise design and testing. The Stirling engine was now finding its way into solar power plants, where its ability to convert heat to electricity was invaluable. And so, the Stirling engine, despite its humble beginnings and multiple setbacks, has continued to evolve. 
From competing with steam engines to powering spacecrafts and solar power plants, it has shown an incredible ability to adapt and thrive. The Stirling engine, therefore, has not just survived but thrived, adapting to the demands of the times. But how does this Stirling engine, this piece of engineering brilliance, actually work? To begin with, we need to understand that the Stirling engine runs on heat. Yes, you heard it right. Heat. It's a heat engine that operates by cyclic compression and expansion of air or other gases, known as the working fluid at different temperature levels. The Stirling engine has three main components, a heat source, a heat sink, and a power piston. The heat source provides the heat energy to the engine. This could be anything from the sun's rays to a simple candle flame, or even waste heat from another process. The beauty of the Stirling engine is in its versatility to use any form of heat. The heat sink, on the other hand, is where the heat energy is dissipated, effectively cooling the working fluid. The difference in temperature between the heat source and the heat sink is what drives the engine. The greater the temperature difference, the more efficient the engine. Now the power piston. This is where the magic happens. The working fluid heated at the heat source expands and pushes the power piston. This movement is converted into mechanical work, which can be used to power anything from a small fan to a massive generator. But the Stirling engine is not just about power, it's also about safety. Unlike combustion engines, there's no ignition of fuel within the engine itself. This eliminates the risk of explosions, making the Stirling engine a safer alternative. Furthermore, the Stirling engine boasts an impressive efficiency rating. Its ability to use almost all of the heat energy from its source makes it one of the most energy efficient engines out there. In a world where energy conservation is pivotal, this feature of the Stirling engine cannot be overstated. So the Stirling engine, in essence, is a perfect example of engineering efficiency and safety. Now that we understand its workings, what makes the Stirling engine so important? Well, the Stirling engine, with its unique mechanism and efficiency, has found applications in a multitude of fields across the globe. Let's delve into a few of these to truly grasp its significance. In the realm of industrial processes, Stirling engines play a pivotal role. Their efficiency and heat management capabilities make them an excellent choice for systems requiring precise control of temperature, such as certain chemical reactions. The Stirling engine's ability to convert heat into mechanical work with minimal waste also makes it invaluable in various manufacturing processes. Moving on to a more exciting domain, space exploration. Yes, you heard that right. NASA and other space agencies have been using Stirling engines for decades in their space probes and rovers. The reason? Stirling engines can operate in extreme temperatures and vacuum conditions, making them perfect for the harsh environment of outer space. They provide a reliable source of power for these devices, allowing them to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Now let's talk about renewable energy. As we strive to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, the Stirling engine shines as a beacon of hope. It can harness the power of the sun, converting solar thermal energy into mechanical work. This makes it a key player in the transition towards a more sustainable future. In regions with abundant sunlight, Stirling engines can provide a constant, cost-effective source of power, mitigating the environmental impact of traditional energy sources. And did we mention its versatility? The Stirling engine's design allows it to function with virtually any heat source, be it geothermal energy, biomass, or even waste heat from other processes. This adaptability, coupled with its efficiency and reliability, makes the Stirling engine an invaluable tool across a wide array of applications. The Stirling engine thus is not just a historical curiosity, but a vital tool in pushing the boundaries of technology. What does the future hold for this remarkable engine? As we turn our gaze toward tomorrow, it's clear that the Stirling engine, despite being over 200 years old, is far from outdated. In fact, it's on the cutting edge of several burgeoning fields. In the realm of renewable energy, the Stirling engine's ability to run on heat differentials makes it a prime candidate for harnessing solar power. Imagine a world where our energy is sourced directly from the sun, cleanly and efficiently. In the field of space exploration, NASA has already utilized Stirling engines for spacecraft power systems. The engine's durability, efficiency, and ability to run on virtually any heat source make it ideal for the harsh, unpredictable conditions of space. Not just limited to these fields, the scope for its applications is vast and continually expanding. 
The Stirling engine, having been around for over two centuries, still holds promise for the future.